Netscape began becoming a common fashion item around the 17th century in Japan and gradually grew in popularity and sophistication throughout the 19th century. The tiny carvings were worn along with a number of other fashion accessories known as sagemono or hanging things and were worn together with a kimono and obi or sash as part of the elaborate dress of the Edo period. They were very much part of a common people's fashion at the time, an art form that could display wealth and sophistication for the commons town people and the merchant class, rather than appealing to other fine art that was seen as more exclusively in the realm of the courts and nobility. They were often made by an artist and even amateurs very slowly over long periods of time, carved all over so even the back and the underside is paid just as much attention in the design, sometimes revealing a different part of a story or a different image on opposite sides, enticing people to study them closely. The subjects are as diverse and inventive as any Japanese art, drawing from nature and depicting historical figures, religious characters and folk tales, as well as a plethora of gods, demons, animals, monsters and mythical tales. They were also an art form that became incredibly popular and widely collected in Europe in the late 19th century and have remained hugely popular around the world ever since. This caused considerable collections of Netsuke to be taken on long journeys, just as the bulk of the gallery's collection embarked on, when they were finally brought to Brisbane by the academic art patron and art critic, Dr. Gertrude Langer, after she and her husband fled Europe during the annexation of Austria in the late 1930s. The captivating thing about Netsuke is that so much imagination and craftsmanship is captured in such a tiny object. And these treasures, once made as fashion accessories and that could be held in the hand, are now revered as works of art around the world.